what's going on Taurus this video will be for Taurus okay Taurus Sun Rising and Venus this is Empress Bell welcome back to my channel you guys thank you guys for liking subscribing and sharing my videos greatly appreciate it make sure y'all hit that thumbs up you know because that supports the channel remember messages may or may not resonate with every one of you guys okay so take the messages as they resonate with you if you're confused by the message then baby that's not your message all right all right you guys this will be love ready for taurus for april okay let's see what's going on with you tauruses taurus okay i see oh truthful communication and love okay so can be with an air sign or water sign okay some both signs i don't know what y'all be doing with y'all lives but taurus i feel like you're going you feel like i feel like you guys are going to offer a cup of love to someone oh my gosh yes that is so beautiful taurus that is so beautiful. Yes, you're manifesting this. Or you are manifesting this person back in your life. Okay, Taurus. I feel like the person you are manifesting back in your life is somebody. It's like the one that got away. I mean, <laughs> so, Taurus. Okay. Um, there you are. Yeah, you're going to take charge here because you want to balance out a situation and make someone an offer. Okay, Taurus. That is so sweet of you. Because I know how hard it is for you guys to actually make those love kind of situations without coming back and forth and being undecisive about it but hey taurus congratulations okay Let's see what's going on taurus taurus sun rising and venus one more shuffle taurus. Oh, sheesh we are so out of that mercury retrograde you guys and it's dope as fuck right because i'm feeling the beautiful wonderful shift okay so the backstory with this person here, Taurus, I feel like you were holding back your emotions and feelings and you broke that person's heart, okay? So here you are wanting to express your love to this person now, okay? Let's see what's going on, Taurus. Yeah, be great. Awesome. Bottom of the deck. Ooh, Taurus. So there was an ending, okay? Could have been recently or something will end in April, but I'm feeling like this was an ending that you had with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, they were offering you, okay, hold on, Taurus, I feel like something ended with you now, you are wanting to offer, move forward and offer a cup of love to someone after the cycle has ended, okay, to a more uh, queen of pinnacles, someone that made you happy, you want a second chance with this person, okay? All right, uh, let's see. Energy for Taurus. Energy for Taurus. It's the seven of on so therefore Taurus there is some kind of you're on the defense here or you are wanting to fight for love with this queen of cups here at the bottom of the deck because I feel like you want to work with this person yeah or you could have met this person at work or in some type of setting like that all right but this is to a cup situation for sure all right Taurus let's see what's hidden from Taurus what's hidden from Taurus These four of pinnacles, okay? Four of pinnacles holding back, holding on. Maybe someone is holding back from you. Yeah, um, or you are holding back from walking towards somebody or holding on to somebody so they don't walk away. You were juggling, okay? Should I, should I not? Should I message this person? Should I talk to this person? I'm not sure. So Taurus, this, this day, April could be a very confusing month for you, okay? Um, that's what it looks like so far. Okay, but, you know, things could turn around. Absolutely. <laughs> so, what is the obstacle? The obstacle is this six of wands. So, you could be dealing with a, a, a fire sign, okay? Maybe a fire sign here. Um, but, obstacle is the six of wands. Maybe someone you live with, okay? Um, you had a secret here that the truth came out about. Um and you went into hermit mode with this person, okay? But being victorious, getting the victory, okay, is an obstacle for you right now, okay? Um, what is the outcome for Taurus? Come on, Taurus. Come on, Taurus. Oh, seven of Pentacles. 
working together, working things out, reinvesting, investing. Okay. Yes. Moving forward out of rocky waters with this freaking empress, Libra Taurus energy. Okay. Because, listen, communication is going to come in with this person. All right. Yep. The will of fortune. There will be an equal give and take here. Okay. Um, Taurus, let's see. Let me see, let's clarify this seven of wands. What are you on a defense about, Taurus? What are you ready to defend? What is you have your love? I don't know. You ready to fight for your love? <laughs> That's right, Taurus. Taurus, Sun, Rising, and Venus. What's going on for Taurus, Sun, Rising, and Venus? Taurus, Sun, Rising, and Venus. And love for Taurus, Sun, Rising, and Venus. Hmm. Taurus, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Mm. Some sneaky shit going on here. Mm-hmm. So, Taurus, let's see. Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, Taurus. So, yes, this could be a very loving, nurturing kind of energy here. Maybe uh, you wanted you ended a cycle with someone, a motherly energy, or maybe an older earth sign, or you're ending a cycle here of this queen of cup, this king of cups type of energy, okay? Because you have the queen of cups here, and you do want stability, okay? So you definitely have a soulmate that will be in your energy in April, the first half of April, okay? So let's see what the seven of wands is. Seven of wands for Taurus, seven of wands and Venus, seven of wands for Taurus, yeah. You may be spying on someone, okay? Or someone is spying on you, you know? Um, being sneaky. Trying to figure out a way to sneak your way back in here, okay? To somebody that is defensive <laughs> towards you, okay? Let's see what the Page of Swords is. Page of Swords. Page of Swords. Page of Swords. Wow. Because you know you backstabbed and betrayed this person with the Ten of Swords. Mm. Or what you're saying is you're feeling betrayed, okay? Because maybe somebody has moved on and they're getting the victory. It could be a Sagittarius, somebody that you had a family with. Hmm. Yeah, I'm feeling like, Taurus, um, you could be uh, very defensive. On the defense here because uh, maybe somebody saw you watching something or spying on someone. Could have been spying on an air sign. And he was defending yourself like, what? I don't know what you're talking about. Or are you on the defense because of something you saw when you went spying. Now you're feeling back stabbed and betrayed. Okay? Ten of swords for swords. Just a ten of swords for swords, please. Yep. Yeah. Thinking about reinvesting or investing in someone here. But like I said, you're waiting. You're waiting for the right moment to do that. Okay? Like I said from the beginning. <laughs> you're holding back or holding on. I feel like you're holding back from taking the leap, this leap of faith towards this queen of swords. You do want to communicate or communication may be coming in with this person um, to you, Taurus, here. And it's like, once that communication hit, it's like you're going to rush over there. No holes bars. It's like, oh, all right. But you've been holding back from communicating with this person. All right. Yeah. But you're waiting right now, thinking about reinvesting. You know, even though you it was you backstabbed and betrayed, it was an ending here. Um, maybe due to some type of in, immature communication, or you were being immature, basically, maybe, uh, or they were being immature. You always had to defend yourself. But um, yeah, four pentacles, <laughs> four pentacles. And you're hidden from you. So holding on or holding back from this queen, king of wands. Okay. Someone from your past. Okay. So maybe you want equal give and take with this person here. But you guys aren't speaking right now. Yeah. This is a soulmate. Twin flame soulmate. Whatever. You were juggling. You know. And it caused arguments. Maybe you were. You had other suitors. And it caused arguments. All right. Hmm. Queen of the King of Wands. What's the King of Wands here for? King of Wands. Yep. 
somebody has made a decision here. They already picked the path or picked the this this and 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 uh they picked the path here and uh basically is to maybe shut you out, Taurus. Um, maybe not talk to you anymore because you have the hangman at the bottom of the deck and the nine of wands and the seven of wands behind that. Okay, somebody's gonna put their focus on themselves. Okay, two of wands, two of wands, four of Taurus. Wow, just kind of flew over there, there Taurus. Right, because they feel like something is toxic with you. They feel like you're a toxic person. Okay. Or there was some type of toxicity, addiction going on here with you and this person. Um, but this is definitely, this person is definitely, I feel like, um, maybe they chose to be with a Capricorn as well. Okay. And they're going to probably speak the truth. Or you are wanting to speak the truth to this person with the Ace of Swords. Somebody is going to come in and speak the truth about something here. Speak their truths. Okay. With the Ace of Swords. Um about a situation that was toxic there. This is hidden from you. Okay, you might even get an apology. But maybe somebody's going to tell you the truth that they're going to um, offer their cup of love to someone else and you're going to they that and they're keeping their option op options open and whatever that is is going to be burdened for you. It's going to be like a burden to you and it's like, you know, that's their justice, okay? So, yeah, they just sound like you're toxic or they just want to just keep their options open and deal with someone else. Okay, this King of Wands. Um, what is the Six of Wands? Six of Wands, of course, and the obstacles. Yeah, Six of Wands is this Empress Libra Taurus energy. So, um, and your obstacles is being victorious with the Empress. Okay, because somebody wants to be single. They're using their intuition, maybe not dealing with you like that, Taurus. Somebody's just going to be, be have a new beginning elsewhere, and you're going to have some regrets here because uh, maybe you feel like you should have made that move towards them, but you didn't. Let's see if this Empress, clarify the Empress for Taurus. Clarify the Empress for Taurus, please. Yeah. The Hangman, okay. Delays, you know, and it's stressing you the hell out because you really want to rush towards this person. But you don't know if you should or you shouldn't, you know. They're very beautiful, this this person that you're dealing with. Um, so it's like, I don't know if I should. You know, this person probably got many options, stuff like that. Um, so the hangman is in your obstacles position as well. So you actually taking action to move towards this empress. So what is the hangman? They're kind of hangman. So, yeah. The ten of cups. So this hangman, yeah, it's going to be delayed with their happiness here. Yeah. You're, it's, it's, it's like uh, either you broke someone's heart that you had a family with or you broke someone's heart um, or your heart is broken right now, you know, due to this, you know, injustice in the home here. And maybe somebody is going to offer their cup of love elsewhere. Brings in the tower here. Yep. Um, you might have children, maybe two, three children with this person. But, you know, it's probably one or two Tauruses. But, um Somebody is going to choose another path, Taurus. This could be you or someone else that you're dealing with. Okay? Or the person you're dealing with, not someone else. All right. What's the Seven of Pentacles as your outcome? Seven of Pentacles for Taurus is outcome, ouch. Reinvesting, investing, looking at the things you invest in. What invested in is a burden. Okay? So maybe you should re, uh, focus your attention because something else, this is a missed opportunity here, Taurus. If you were trying to go back to the situation or even pick up the pieces, it's over because somebody is like not interested anymore. They're bored with your offer and they're moving on. Okay? Maybe moving on. And the moon and the justice is here. You know, it's like they're getting their justice by leaving you hanging, you know, because you did a lot, Taurus. I'm feeling like you really put your foot in your mouth in this one, in this situation. Okay. So what's the Ten of Wands for Taurus? Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands for Taurus is the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. So this was a karmic situation, a karmic lesson you should have learned here about having so many options. Okay. And not apologizing. Okay, for hurting people. So, Taurus, if you were just, you know, doing your own thing because you was you felt like, you know, whatever, and you wasn't, you know, uh, you ain't care to lose or anybody. So, it was like, okay, cool. So, you actually lost somebody that you really wanted or they lost you. Okay? Let's see the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune is clarified by... 
the nine of wands so yeah you're guarded and single now so you're going to keep your guard up and be single here right you're going to take your leap of faith maybe towards an air sign a gemini libra aquarius maybe a libra to communicate or whatever with this person like hey how you doing you can talk about a relationship but you're you're flighty right now in and out you know chariot like, and this person may move on to something else as well. So, be careful with that. Right now, I think it's just, you know, you need to learn your lesson and heal. Whew. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Let's see. What's going on with y'all? Taurus, the moon rising and Venus. Yeah, they said this could be the one. You already met the romantic partner you speak here. So, let's see what's going on with you, Taurus. Taurus, Taurus. Taurus, the moon rising and Venus. Taurus, than Venus. Okay, what messages do we have for you, Taurus? Love messages. Bottom of the deck is children. Okay, children, your children, your love life is being affected by children. Okay, so you could have children with that person. Okay. Or maybe you could move on to your love because of children. Bottom of the deck, you have forgiving and learning. Okay, Taurus. It says, as you release and heal your past, you'll experience more love in your present moments. Okay. Um, let go of your control issues came up in a reverse. So there is a need for you to let go of your control issues. Okay. Stop being this double with that double energy trying to control which way people go. And if you loving on them and they love them, like, no, let that shit go. Okay, Taurus, because that's what you fucking up on. Okay. It says allow the situation to unfold naturally and you don't want to. It's like you just want to take action because it's, you really love this person. True love. It says this is a romance of a lifetime. Okay. Yep, twin flame energy with that true love. So, Taurus, I hope this message resonated with you guys, and I'll talk to you later.